All right, so today, my code crushers, let's take a look at section four in the guidelines. So you wanna make sure that you are reading all of your guidelines, that includes section four. And what I wanna talk about, I wanna talk about number one, outpatient surgery. When a patient presents for outpatient surgery, same day surgery, code the reason for the surgery as the first listed diagnosis, reasons for the encounter, even if the surgery is not performed due to a contraindication. So this is a good guideline for us to review because it's a reminder that, hey, even if the patient comes in for a, a procedure and it's not done uh, for some reason, some type of contraindication, you would still call the reason for the surgery as the first listed diagnosis. Recording in progress. The next guideline we'll look at is age, uncertain diagnosis. And this is just a reminder, um, something you probably already know, but we do not code diagnosis documented as probable, suspected, questionable, rule out, compatible with, consistent with, working diagnosis or similar terms indicating uncertainty. Rather, code the conditions to the highest degree of certainty for the encounter or visit such as symptom signs, abnormal test results, or other reasons. Now, they give you a side note that says that this guideline may differ in different um, facilities. But overall, for your outpatient coding, we do not code probable, suspected, questionable, or rule out. Let's do M, patients receiving preoperative evaluations only. So the patient comes in only for pre-op, how should that be coded? For patients receiving preoperative evaluations only, sequence first, they code from subcategory Z01.81, encounter for pre-procedural examination to describe the pre-op consultation. So first we code the pre-op, then we assign a code for the condition to describe the reason for the surgery as an additional diagnosis. You can also code any findings related to the pre-op evaluation. But what comes first in the sequence? The preoperative evaluation code, um, Z01.81. All right, code crushers, I look forward to seeing you in class on Friday. We should continue our discussion of ICD 10 CEM. If you're not a member of Code Crushers and you'd like to be, you can get started for just $10 a month.